Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Hello, Cindy. Are you there? Hello, teacher. How yes. are you today? I'm very good. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? <laughs> Sorry. My day well. It was it was good. A little bit tired. Tiring. Everything oh. good. Like, A lot of work. Uh, like like the routine. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, but. Besides that, everything is okay. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, what about you? Uh, it's been a, a long day. I've been working since nine o'clock. So I, I've worked around eight hours. So, but I feel okay. Plus these two hours, so that makes it 10. But I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiring mentality, right? Yeah. The thing is, uh, we have been used to work like 50 hours a week, you know, uh, teaching. And with the with this pandemic, we we um, we stopped working that hard, okay. But uh, it's okay, it's okay. The good thing is that we have work, okay. Yeah, you're right. It is a principle. Yeah. There are many people that don't have, you know, they would like to. So we can't complain. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's true. Totally agree. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you have a, do you like your job? Yeah, I like, I like, I prefer to stay in the kitchen, uh, doing many things because, um, there are nine of us, and the other girls um, serve the food, so they have they have they have um, communication with the customers, and <laughs> many customers with different character, you know, and it is. Yeah, they have. I don't have family. enough questions. I don't but know. Uh, but you like cooking. Yeah, I like cooking so much. Okay. When I was in the United States, I worked in um, many different restaurants. Really? And I learned a lot. Yeah. Okay, you told me that you were in what in what state in uh, Virginia? In Kentucky. In Kentucky. In Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, are there many Latin American people living in Kentucky? No. And, and why did you decide to go to Kentucky? Oh, because my cousin, um, she was like, uh, let me tell you a little bit. I was pregnant when she called me and she told me, you know what, I have a, um, um, how do you say? offer or something like that for you i want to help you to come here to work and you have to decide fast because you are pregnant and so you have to make a decision a little bit fast and i i was with my hope with my husband like we don't want 
we we haven't decided but uh, many people told us uh, you know what is it is a great opportunity you maybe will not have that opportunity again you know the pressure that many people tell me that I have to do that so <laughs> I decided to go uh, with my pregnancy and my girl beside me and my husband go with me, but um, he get a de deportation. He got so. deported. Now, uh, you went with a permission. Um, no, I just went like immigrante. Wet, like, wet. Yeah, across the river there. And then I, I get to immigration. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. Yeah, that's kind of risky. And my country was there. That's why I, I arrived there. But I, I went to Texas also, but I don't like it too much Texas, so I decided to go back to Kentucky. To Kentucky. Okay, very okay. good. Good evening, Tatiana. <laughs> How are you today? Good evening, and I am fine. How was your day today? It was nice because I worked every day. Ah, you and, and the work was okay today? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm glad that you're happy, okay? <laughs> okay, very good. Ah, I wonder where everybody is today. And today is Wednesday. Tatiana, how far have you done on the platform? Sorry? How far have you gone on the platform? How um, much have you done on the on the platform? I finished section four. Ah, you finished section four. Okay, very yes. good, very good. So that's what we expect at the end of this week or at the end of the weekend, okay? Remember that probably tomorrow night we're going to be finishing section four. And then we, go, we will start on Monday, section five. And by Wednesday, I believe by Tuesday, we probably will have finished uh, section five. Okay. Section five is about the future, using the future. Okay. okay. And it's not that difficult, it's pretty much easy. Okay, so section four is okay. Cindy, you have finished, right? You you have done the final two, huh? Um, I just had to do two sections, the last two sections, the final uh, section. Okay, so you're gonna for, do section four I today. I have done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but remember, you have to go as far as section four this weekend. Unless you have previous knowledge of what we're going to see next next week, then you can do also section five. Okay. So I want to mean two two topic of the final exam. Okay, so that is the final, and uh, yeah, and we still have to see. Mm -hmm. the, there is one topic, little topic uh, about section four, which probably we're going to see tomorrow, which is uh. Uh, adverbs of uh, of uh, uh, what you call this yes, of sequence sequence adverbs okay first second third then after next finally okay it's pretty simple it's pretty simple okay so we are going to be okay ah by the way let me tell you that uh, the YouTube platform, not uh, not our platform, but YouTube platform has been having problems with the videos. Okay, so yes. probably when you try to load a video or, or to see a video, it will send you a, an error message. And that is because it's the YouTube platform that is experiencing some problems right now. 
okay? So I just want you to know that. Okay, A04, so we're gonna start, okay? Let me see, let me share with you where we stop. Okay, remember that we were going to do this test, right? With the simple pass and the present perfect. Do you remember? Can you see can you see the the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So what is the simple pass? He listened. He listened and the present perfect? He has listened. He has listened. Okay, very good. Cindy, they? Uh, they spoke. They spoke and, and? They have spoke. They spoke. Spoken. Okay. Spoken. The past participle is spoken. They have spoken. Remember to have available the list of verbs. Just in case we need to check it out. The next one, uh, Tatiana. And I watched. I watched. And I had watched. And I have watched. Very good. The next one, Cindy. Um, she read. She. She the has. Past tense is she. She has grown. She grew. Oh, grew. <laughs> and that is the simple past, right? She grew. And the past participle? She has grown. She has grown. Okay. The last one, Tatiana. And you fall? No, look at the list of verbs. Remember the list of verbs that I sent you? What is the past tense of fall? Oh, uh, I don't remember. You don't remember. Do you remember, Cindy? Well. Okay, if you don't remember, never mind. I'm gonna get it for you. Okay. I show you in a minute what is the simple past of fall. In present perfect is fallen. In present perfect, the, the past participle is falling. Now, here, can you see it? Fall, fail. <laughs> uh -huh. Fall, fail, fallen. That is correct. So here it should be you. You fail. You fail and you had fallen. You have fallen, that is correct. You have fallen. Okay, and I will do this ones anyway, okay? So he listened and he has listened, okay? He Teacher, I don't see the screen. Ah, you don't see the screen. Okay, hold on, sorry. Now, can you see it now? Mm, yes. You know? Yes. Yes. And here it should be they spoke. They spoke and they have spoken. Okay, in Guadalupe, which one is this one? What is the simple pass of I watch? By I watch. I watch. I, I watched. Pronunciation T. I watched. I watched. I watched. Uh -huh. And the past and the present perfect? Um, let me see. Because, oh. I watch you. No, what is the past perfect? What is the present perfect? I'm sorry. I I have watched. I have watched. Remember? 
I have watched. And this is the pronunciation, watch. Watch, okay? I have watched. I have watched, that is correct. Okay, so everybody repeat after me. Here, the pronunciation, D, listened. He listened. He listened. He, listened. he, listened. he has listened. He has, he has listened. listened. They spoke. They, they spoke. spoke. They have spoken. They, they, have, have, they spoken. have spoken. I watched. I watched. Uh -huh. I have watched. I, I have, have watched. watched. She grew. She, she grew. grew. She has grown. She, she has, has grown. grown. Growing. Uh -huh. Now you fell. You, you fell. fell. You have fallen. You have, you fallen. have fallen. Okay, very good. Now let's see. What is uh, okay, now let's answer these questions real quick. When do we use which tense? Okay, everybody read number one. To talk about the action in the past without any consequence in the present. Uh -huh. Without any connection, any consequences in the present, we use what? Simple. Simple. Use the simple past. The simple wow. past, that is correct. Now, so we want to emphasize as past actions consequence in the present, we use? Present perfect. The present perfect, that is correct. We use the present perfect. Okay. Very good. That's it. Okay. And to talk about an action in the past with no consequence in the present, we use the simple past. So far, is a signal word for what tense? The simple past or the present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Present perfect. Now, five minutes ago is a signal word for? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Okay. Because Simple it shows past. when the action was completed. Okay. Very good. And recently, is a signal word for? Simple past. Simple past. Huh? Oh, present, present perfect. Present perfect. What have you done recently? Que ha hecho ah, recently? Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, present perfect. Okay. No problem. Okay. Very good. Now, put the verbs into the correct tense. Simple past or present perfect simple. So, what will be number one? Let's see. We are going to begin with, with uh, Cindy. What is number one, Cindy? Um, he just left his house. His, like this. Okay, for these exercises, let's try not to use the contraction. So what is what it will be? He has. He has. He has. Yes. And what is the past participle of leave? Left. 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 He has just left his house. Okie dokie. Very good. He has just left his house. Okay. Now, number two, Tatiana. Okay, um, we built a tree house last week. We built a tree house last week. Simple past. Very good because 
It is telling us when the action was completed. Very good. The next one, Guadalupe. Just hold on because I have a problem with that. Cream. Okay, okay. Eleonora, number three. Two years ago, Fiona broke her leg. Broke her leg, that is correct, because it tells us here when that happened, and it was two years ago. Very good. Maria Hernandez, the next one. I already was. Uh huh. I have already, or I already washed. I already washed. Okay, in this one, we can use both. Okay, I already washed the dishes. Okay, it's fine, no problem. Or we can say, I have already washed the dishes. So both are okay. Ivan. What about number five? Says the other day our cat brought home a mouse. The other day, uh -huh, brought. That is correct. Brought home a mouse. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Irving. What is the next one, Irving? Um, We, we, we invite, we didn't we invite. Empty it, empty. Uh, but it's negative. It's negative. We doesn't. Uh -huh. But you see, it's last week. So with what week, with last week, what do we use? Present perfect. Uh, no, because verb. it's past. It's, uh -huh, past. it's supposed uh -huh. to be simple past. Simple past. Right? Yeah. Because it's specifying when the action is finished. So what do we mm -hmm. use in the negatives? I right? Didn't. These are the negatives. Okay, let's see. So we... With doesn't. We? We doesn't or we didn't? No, we didn't. Remember, the, didn't. the auxiliary for the past is didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, empty. Em empty. Empty. The bin last week. The bin week. last week. Okay, perfect. That is correct. Okay. Now, do you have any questions? And remember. Uh, yes, sir. Es, eh, MP es como la traducción. Compartimiento. MP. Compartimiento. Wow. The bin. Okay. So, okay. in empty, vaciar. So, we mm -hmm. didn't empty the bin last week. No vaciamos el compartimiento la semana pasada. And we ah. have to use simple past because it's specifying when the action finished. So we have to use that, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Cindy, let's see the next one. She wasn't there an hour ago. She wasn't there an hour ago. Very good. Great job, great job, Cindy. Okay, and here, didn't empty. Okay, very good. The next one, eh, Eleonora. He, he, he wasn't, he wasn't lost any game so far. Okay, why wasn't? Um, Remember, we negative? are using so far. When do you use so far? 
So far. With the simple the, past or with the present perfect? Present, per, uh, present ah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, present perfect. What is Entonces, the auxiliary? Uh, he didn't. He didn't. No, didn't is for simple past. Uh, he have, having. No. Oh, excuse me. No, no problem. Let me show you. Let me show you. Don't yeah, worry confused. about it. Okay. And so here I have it right here. Look, take a look. Uh, okay. For he, what do I use? In the negative. He has. He, she and it. he has not. He uh -huh. has. He has. He, right? he has not. Excuse me. He hasn't. He hasn't. Lo, lo, Lost any game so far. Él no ha perdido ni un juego hasta ahora. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, Please. very good, yes. very good. Okay, uh, Ivan, the next one, Ivan. Yes. It says, my brother didn't pick me up at 8 o'clock. Didn't pick me up. Pick me up at eight o'clock. Huh, only didn't pick me up at eight o'clock. That is correct because this is the time of completion of the action. Very good. Question, teacher. Yes? Where is the, the box that you show to, to explain the, the, the tenses? This one. Share? Yeah. That is in the... And the one that it says, let me show you. Let me show you, okay. Okay, I will show you this, okay. So the one that we are working, the exercises is simple past and present perfect. And that one that I show you is in the one that it says simple past versus present perfect that I sent you last night. You remember? Okay. Okay. So there is that page. Okay. okay. Thank you. This one right here. Okay. That is right there. Okay. With this, with this exercise, with this uh, explanation. Okay. And this is for the present. How do you uh, structure? the present perfect, and this is how you structure the simple past, right? This is how to make simple past statements, negative statements, and questions. And this is how to make statements, affirmative statements, negative statements, and questions with the present perfect, okay? Thank you. So I'm gonna go back to the to this. Okay, so pick me up. He didn't pick me up. That is correct. Okay, the next one is Tatiana. Okay. Um, what is mind? Mind. No me, no me, eh, I, no me he decidido todavía. This, is, this expression, make up my mind is decidirme, decidirme. Okay. So make and, up my mind, decidirme. Okay, and I haven't make, made. I haven't made no. up my mind. Very good, Tatiana, that is correct, yet. So that means, yo no me he decidido todavía. Very good, Maria Hernandez, the next one, please. It's a question, Maria. Have you seen Bob recently? Very good. Have you seen Bob recently? Excellent. That is great work. Very good. Okay. The next one, uh, Irving. Okay, okay.
Um, is it the 12th, right? The... Yeah, number 12. Okay. Will uh, will uh, uh, switch of the. Uh -huh. But this is a regular bird. So who switched? Mm -hmm. Who switched Switch. off? Stuff the live a uh, minute ago. Okay, very good. Now you probably say, but teacher, it's a question. Yeah, but in this. Okay, and it's a simple pass because it says a minute ago. Now, let me explain this, okay? I'm going to share the board right here, okay? And I'm going to write this, okay? Who did she dance with? Okay, in this question, in this question, I use did because I have a subject. The subject is she. I use did. In this one that we have, in the next one, we say who switched off the light. Now, why we don't use did? Because can you see here? The subject is who. Mm -hmm. We don't have a subject like I, you, we, he, she, it, we, they. We don't have a subject. So the subject is who. In this one, in this one, yes, we do have a subject. The subject is she. She. Okay. No, como no. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo sería la Ajá. Estructura? Ajá. But the, the, the reason is when who is the subject, when who is the subject of the question, in that case, in that case, you don't use, you use the past tense of the verb. And if I had to say, for example, in Sorry, teacher. In this uh, structure, who is uh, say is a noun, right? No, who is the subject? Uh, oh, so, sorry, subject. The subject. Example, okay, because when we answer, when we answer the question, okay, who switch off the light? Peter. Uh, uh, Peter probably switched me, off Peter. the light. Okay. So practically in the question, yes, Peter, Peter. So practically in this question, who is the subject of the question? When who is the subject of the question, we are all, always going to use third person singular or the past tense. For example. This question is about, for example, when you don't know who treats the lies, right? No, is when who is the subject? Because yes, in this other because in this other question we have a subject. The subject is she. Yes, but in this case, I I try to, to understand right. Who in this case is because you don't know who turned the life, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and who is taking the place of the subject? Because when we answer the question, the subject comes out. Yeah, okay, good. The who, that's it's eliminated and the subject appears. So that means that in the question, who is the subject? For example, who eat my pizza? For example. Who? I share with my family. I'm sorry, again, who? Who ate my pizza, for example, if I- Who ate my pizza, pizza. that's correct. Who ate oh, my okay. piece of pizza, okay. Now, when we have, for example, who, who have, who have they gone with? Okay, in this question with the present perfect, 
What is the subject? The subject is? They. They. Is now, another subject? I, I'm sorry? If we don't have the subject? Not, not always. I'm going to put another, okay? I'm going to put, because here the subject is they. The subject is they. They is the subject. Okay, now I'm going to put an example. Okay, who have they gone with? Okay, so that is the question. Okay. Now I can make another question. Who has who has gone to the park? Oh. Can you see here? What is the subject? The subject who? is who. Who? Because we don't have any other subject. Who has gone to the park? ¿Quién ha ido al parque? When we answer the question, uh, Peter, again, Peter has gone to the park. Oh, y el who siempre se va a referir a él o ella. It doesn't matter. It could be plural. Here, for example, I could have said, that's they, why you use they, they have gone to the park. That was my doubt. Okay, oh, so the thing is that who is the subject? Because when we answer the, the question, the subject appears. Who has gone to the park? So when who is the subject, always in present perfect, we are going to use has. And the past participle of the verb. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the subject is plural. For example, uh -huh. here it could be: I have gone to the park. We have gone to the park. You have gone to the park. Is that clear? But because we don't have any other subject, we assume that who is the subject. And for that reason, the grammar rule says that we are going to use third person singular. Let me explain more of that. Okay, for example, in simple present, in simple present, we say who, who works late. Okay, and we are going to write this question in third person singular because who is the subject of the question. It doesn't matter that the answer is he works late or that the answer is, we work late. Are we clear? Yes. But because yes. who, who, and uh, now I have another type of questions. Okay, for example, who does, no, who do, and I'm gonna put it like this, who do they work with? Now, why I don't use like this? Because I have a subject. The subject is they. And because the subject is they, I will respect the grammar rules. What is the auxiliary for they? Do. But in this case, I don't have a subject. So the subject is who. Are we clear? Let uh, me put another example. Uh, yes? Teacher, and the exact uh, answer for for these questions. For what who, question? For who do they work with? Ah, okay. They work with an. You see, what is the subject? They. What is the subject here? They. They work with an. Okay. Uh -huh. But here we have a subject, so I respect the grammar rule. When I don't have a subject, I assume that who is the subject. 
And the grammar says when you, when who is the subject of the question, always in third person. And in the case of the simple past, in the past tense. Let me put one more example. Okay. Here, who was in, in the office? Okay, answer, we were in the office. Okay. Or I can say, she was in the office. Possible answers. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Possible answers. Now, when I have a subject, when I have a subject, then I will say, who do who, where, we, with. ¿Con quién estuvimos nosotros? So here, the subject. We, where, we were with all the guests. Estuvimos con todos los invitados. Is that clear? I, teacher, I don't see the, the Yeah, can the you answer. see it now? Yeah. Okay. So you see, who were we? Because we have a subject, I respect the rules. But when I don't have a subject, I always going to use was. Is that clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, very good. So I'm going to erase this. I don't know if you want to take a picture. Okay, yes. take a picture and let me know when you finish taking the picture. It's okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Do you finish? Yes, yes sir. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Okay, very good. Now, now let's go back to the exercise. So in this case, we don't have a subject. Can you see? We don't have a subject. So we have to use the past tense of the verb. Who switched off the lights a minute ago? She switched off the lights. I switched off the light. They switched off the light. Is that clear? Okay. The next one, that was Tatiana, right? The next one, uh, Jose Antonio. Uh, when? Uh, when has the she became a teacher? Now, become a teacher was in a specific time in the past or not? Ah, uh, uh, when did when did she become a teacher? When did she become a teacher? That is correct. Because that happened once and it's and it's finished, right? It's not that that's uh, a connection. That happened when she became a teacher, right? When she graduated. Yeah, okay, yes. very good. The next one. Uh, El Eleonora. Yes. Have you have you write? Have you ever? Have you ever write an elephant? Wait. What is the past participle of ride? Okay. Excuse me. Right. Roll. 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 No, road is the simple past. Reading. What is the? Reading. Uh -huh, reading. reading. See, it's right see. here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever ridden an elephant? 
Uh -huh. Have you ever written? Can you see? Past participle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever written uh, an elephant? That is correct. Have you ever written mm. an elephant? Very good. Excellent. Have you ever written an elephant? Okay, the next one, uh, Ivan. Yes. It's a question. Remember that it's a question. Did you hurt? your knee when you were playing football Excellent. okay and why why did you hurt why in the simple past because this happened when you were playing football that already it has no connection with the present exactly okay very good very good okay now look here we have a paragraph we have a paragraph, okay? And here are the verbs. So I'm gonna put you in pairs and you are going to decide whether you use the simple past or the past participle. I'm going to place that over here. So you see this paragraph? So you are going to decide, you have this in, in, in your uh, telephone or computer, correct? Hello. Teacher. Yes. This material did you send us? Yeah, this material is this one. Let me show you. This material is the one that I sent to you. Simple past and present perfect. Do you have it? Simple past and present perfect. You remember that we started yesterday and I told you, hey, listen, the test, you do the test. Do you have it? No, I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay, I'm no. gonna I'm gonna put it, it in the in the chat. Okay. Hold on, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic. Right now I'm gonna put, place it in the chat, okay? Okay. Just give me a minute. Okay, eight to nine. Okay. Okay, can you see it now? So have it ready, please, have it ready. Okay, it's in the WhatsApp group. Do you have it? Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Now, now that you have it, we're working on this paragraph that is on page number three. Page number three. Last week, can you see it? I was. Okay, so you're gonna work it in pairs. I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? In trios, I'm gonna make three groups. No, pairs, pairs. Okay, let me see. Okay. So you hungry, you go ahead. You 
Okay. I'm going to make four groups. Four pairs. Ready? Ivan, go with Jose Antonio in room number one. Okay. Irving, go with Guadalupe in room number two. Maria, go with Tatiana in room number three. And Cindy, go with Eleonora in room number four. Okay? Okay. Okay, so go to your rooms. Irving, go to room number two. Okay, Jose, Irving, okay. room number two. Maria, room number three. Eleonora, room number four. And do the paragraph in pairs, please. Okay, uh, Irving and Guadalupe. Okay, very good. Start working. Okay, with the with okay. the paragraph. Okay, it's in the WhatsApp group. Okay, is that clear? Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, clear. I'm gonna go to another group. Okay. Irving and Maria, are you okay? Do you have the material? Oh, where is Maria?
Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Did you finish? No. Uh... Where are you? Do you have any questions? Um, teacher, what is household? Household. Household son que hacer de la casa. Household. Ah, uh, okay. So, let's see. Last week. I was. I, uh -huh, completed, completed. I was very, uh huh. Last week. I was very blessed and, and I. And I. And I, I don't have to do No, this. in the past, because it's last week, you remember? Didn't, didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have the time to the do time a lot of in the, the household. household. In the whole house, Monday. in the household. Uh -huh. Monday, I worked three I worked, hours over time. I worked time. three hours over time and? Um, came home very late in the and evening. Came home very late in the evening. From Tuesday to Thursday, Thursday. I was, I've been on a business trip. I've been. Oh, I was in a business trip. On Friday, I go. I, go, I, I went, went. I to a friend's party. Uh -huh, at the weekend. And at the weekend, I visited my grandparents. Uh huh. Tomorrow, Tomorrow some friends, friends are coming friends over. Are coming uh -huh. over. I see. Um, no. Uh, Connection with the present. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen them for ages. Them for ages. No, no, he visto a ellos por mucho tiempo. They. Okay. And they. They being never. No, they have never yeah. been. They have never been. At my place before. My place before. I. Clean. I no, just. I have I just, just. I have just. Cleaned. I have to clean my house. Now, my shoulder. And show the hour. No. Now I then is everything perfect. It's okay, perfect. you see? Okay, now let me bring you back. Through your English, right? Yeah, just practicing. But in the past, did you study English in another academy or in this academy? No, only by movies and music. Uh, ah, okay. good. That is very good. Let me see who is not with us anymore. Maria Reyes is not with us. Ah, yeah, Maria is right here. Who is not with us? Ah, okay. Now look here. I have the document. So everybody, last week, can you see last it? Week, yes. Uh -huh. Last week, I was very busy. I was very busy. I was, I was very busy. And I very haven't had. I didn't, no, I because didn't this is have. last week. Last week. Yes, I have. And I didn't have the time. And I didn't have simple past because it's specified ah, yeah, yeah. last week. And I didn't have the time. The time to do, to do a lot of things. A lot of in the household. Household, que hacer es del hogar. On Monday. Monday. Uh, I, I worked. I worked work simple past three hours. Three hours, hours time. time. And came home very late in, in the evening. evening. Mm -hmm. From Tuesday to Thursday, Thursday, I was, I was, I was on a business, business, business trip. Very good. On Friday, I went, I went, I went to a friend, to a friend's birthday party. And at and the at weekend, the weekend I, I visited my grandparents. My grandparents. Tomorrow, some friends, some friends some are, friends are coming, coming over. Coming over. I, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. Yo no lo he visto. I haven't seen them for ages. And, and they. 
have never been. And they have never been. At my place before. At my place before. I, just I clean. have just. I have just. I have just cleaned. I have just cleaned. Yo acabo de haber limpiado. My house. So I can around. Now everything is perfect. Okay, was that clear? So here is, I have just cleaned. I have just cleaned my house. I have never been. They have never been at my place before. And I haven't seen them. Okay? Okay. Now, these other exercises, I have them in this document, but you don't have them. I will send them tomorrow morning. This, okay? All these exercises, I will send them tomorrow morning, okay? So we can practice tomorrow. Okay, for tonight, we are going to stop right here. Okay, I want okay. to thank you for your time and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. 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 Thank you. Okay, you what we did today. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. And Hi. if you have any questions, tomorrow we clear them. Okay. Very okay. good. Have a wonderful day, and I see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Black. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful bye -bye, day. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. You too. Okay.